Hola, bom dia. Yes. It's a very dirty hand you've got. What have you been touching? <laughs> you've been touching everything, have you? We've just been observing this church. I've never really looked at the trees behind it. It looks kind of odd to have those palm trees next to a church. It feels a little bit like the Philippines. We've had a couple of days of rain recently, but I'm seeing some blue in the sky now, which is hopeful. This little local cafe has just popped up recently. That wasn't there before. This is the purpose of our trip. Papa wanted to come and see the fruit market. Yeah, it looks similar to the corv we picked from our garden, doesn't it? It's definitely a little bit busier than the last time we came down here. It's because we were here earlier in the morning. This is about 10 o'clock now. We haven't had any food yet either, so it's making me a bit hungry. We've got some really pretty flowers here too. The market's buzzing with activity. What are they then? Oh, that's beetroot. That's beetroot, that's nabu. And that's black radish. There you go, organic produce from the family farm. Papa's getting some beetroot. Sasha's making pea and broccoli soup tonight, so we might as well get our broccoli and veg from here today. Looks like they've got everything we need. Look at the colour of that leaf. Story, have you seen the colour of this leaf? What colour is it, Story? Yeah. Red. And... It's really colourful, isn't it? <laughs> We're on the hunt for potatoes now. We won't be looking for long. Everyone's got potatoes. <laughs> Still doing some really fast picking. <laughs> Those little hands digging in really fast. This is definitely the right place to get your stuff from. Ooh, those tomatoes look good. How much was it? Two euros and seven. It gave me back seven. Oh, for two euros. What did we get? Lovely potatoes. <laughs> and some fine tomatoes. Oh, nice. How lovely they look. Wow. Sorry, story is trying to escape. I'm really holding on here. <laughs> Look at the shape of those tomatoes. I don't think I've ever seen a tomato like that. So many interesting fruits and vegetables here. So much choice. Everything's such brightly coloured as well. You know it's fresh. <laughs> We're in the right place for the food. Story's got her fingers in everything. <laughs> All the beautiful flowers. Wow. You found lavender? Yeah. You sniffing them all? Oh, Story's getting tired, I think. She just did a big yawn. Did you see some lizards on the wall? It's getting to that time now where this town has a load of bikes with flowers set up. During the month of May, these shops put old bicycles outside and fill them up with flowers. But that's the first one I've seen so far. I'm just walking the back streets behind the bus station because we're going to a new cafe called Leaf. Here it is. This is a new place that's just recently reopened. Let's try it out, see what it's like. It's a really fancy looking cafe. Look at that little wall over there in the distance. It's got yes. leaves on it. So she's just making us an order. Just checking to see if one of the cakes is vegan or not. Mum, just stay here. Oh, did I ruin it? Did I do it wrong? 
That's a pretty looking coffee. It's like a macchiato, isn't it? How they've done that in layers. Yeah. Dirty smoothie bowls just arrived. Story's Yummy. already started digging in. Yeah. <laughs> Story's got a mouthful of coconut chips. <laughs> it's really nicely presented. Take a picture. Story's just got a little vegan oat cookie. Papa has gone for scrambled eggs this morning. It looks like it comes with some nice brown toast as well. And I went for a slice of vegan carrot cake with chocolate. That looks really good. Does look really good, yep. I've also got a coffee with oat milk. And we're just doing a little tour of the restaurant now. It's actually really big. It goes right back here. Really nice design. I love the way they've set this place out. We've got little books here. <laughs> we just dashed up onto the chair. Mini little library. It's really nice in here, isn't it? Yeah. You've done a really good job. Yeah. Yeah. Getting things done. We need some of that, don't we? <laughs> to get things done. Oh, it's lovely in here. Yeah, got a nice little selection of books there. Wow. This one, Bobby, look, this one, it's called Ballerina. When the, little, when the little flowers come there, it look like little ballerinas with a little skirt. We're just on the way back to the car and we found this building. We were trying to work out if it was abandoned or not, but I can actually see some lights on in there. It's weird because we park outside this building pretty much all the time. Never noticed it. If you look through the fence here, you can see these lovely pots and there's a little staircase there leading up to something. Oh, this is the ceramics museum. Oh, I have to save that for another day. That looks nice actually. Um, we'll come back another day, eh, Story, after you've had your sleep. <laughs> Museum of Ceramics. Yeah, the reason why we've never seen that place open is because it's from 10 until 12 and then from 2 until 6. And we always end up arriving around about midday after Story's nap. So it's always been closed. And the beautiful sunshine's just come out. It's warming my back. It feels really good. Home now and the sun is shining. These are the leaves for our own garden, and these are the ones that we bought today at the market. I'm not sure if it's wishful thinking, but I would love for one day to be able to grow everything we ever needed on our own piece of land. But I find one problem that we have is just variety. There's certainly more than enough space on this whole land here to grow everything we could possibly need. But to have the knowledge and the expertise to get everything to grow at the right time when you want it or need it, that's where the skill lies. Just talking about growing veg in the garden yeah. and how I'd love to be able to grow everything we want, but it's the variety, isn't it? Mm. Trying to be able to get everything to grow at the yeah. same time. Yeah, there's a beautiful stall. That first one we went to in the market, it was all the organic produce. Yeah. So it was all up, laid out lovely, it's all fresh. From That's the family beautiful. farm, it yeah. said, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. I think perhaps the key is that you have to adjust as people and become more adaptive to what's around you. Rather than just having your set menus that you cook each mm. week, you would have to say, oh, I can only cook this at the moment. Yeah. But then there's being nutritionally balanced as well, yeah. isn't it? But things like, like I'm going to make a pea and broccoli soup tonight, which normally has spinach in it, but we don't have any fresh spinach at the moment, but we've got tons of corv. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to put that in it instead. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I yeah. didn't think of that. <laughs> there you go, being adaptive. Yeah. Let's, let's put the corv in there instead. <laughs> Blend it up. Yes. How are you doing? How have you been? Yeah, you just come up for a quick sniff. Come on, go for a run. Enjoy the sunshine. We asked the man in the market if we could buy some coriander and he gave us these big bunches here and said it's free, just take it. That's pretty amazing. The great thing about this is that the root looks like it's really established. So if I plant this in the ground, it's much more likely to grow. Whereas the ones that we put in the ground over here, they are struggling a bit. Yeah, it's coming up, but it looks a bit different to when it was first grown. We'll see, we're still learning. While the story's sleeping, we're going to pop to the shopping mall to get a new pair of sandals. <laughs> I haven't had a pair of sandals since Thailand. You I, haven't, have you? No, I haven't. No, because I got rid of them because they were a bit old and I thought, do you know what, I'll have some more when I get to Portugal and I never bought any. Mm. But because we're going on holiday to Madeira, I'm looking forward to that and I fancy wearing, feeling a bit more summery. I need <laughs> some... Um, your toes out. Yeah, and I need my um, 
swimming trunks yeah. as well. I don't have anything for swimming. Even though I'm probably not going to do any swimming. <laughs> yeah, but they've got those um, oh, natural yeah. swimming pools. The natural salt water pools yeah. near to the house that we're going to be staying at. So it's all very exciting. Yes. We're not going to film them all. We're actually going to end the vlog for today because <laughs> we filmed quite a bit already. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little tour around Cardiff Terrania. <laughs> Found a new cafe, which we're really happy about. Yeah. We can get vegan cakes. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. That's something I've been missing is going out and having a coffee and a cake. Yeah. <laughs> Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. It really does help. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Onion. 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 We are going to eat it all up. We're going to cook them tonight. <laughs> Oh, Look at that Whoa. massive onion! <laughs> we are going to Madeira. This is the first time we've actually felt like we're going on holiday. That holiday feeling for years.